Hello, my name is Arch Brooks and I'd like to welcome you to this tutorial prepared by Brooks Computing Systems. This demonstration shows how the Brooks Computing Systems cadre of software tools can be used to generate 32-bit Windows applications with just a few mouse clicks. Initially we go to our programmers workbench and uh, we can see here what the primary primary options are for this particular workbench. We want code generators and we want Delphi XE so we'll execute this particular one and this dialog comes into view. We have uh, a single table we do want a component generated and we'll call it uh, give it a name and then we'll click the generate code button and it's letting us know that the target path is blank and we'll be prompted, prompted to supply some information and we do want this to reside in this particular subdirectory and now we have the path and we click OK and then it wants some database information On all these dialogs, if you simply take the uh, primary control and it wants you to select an alias to give it the connectivity to the database, and then it wants you all to, to select a table. And we've done that, and you can see that our application has generated our connection string for us since we are complete with our selection we'll go ahead and click the control and now it's prompting us for some information about the component and we'll just give it some text here this will be the description that appears in the actual component we're placing this component on pallet by the name of ABCOM and its compiled units will go to this particular DCU subdirectory and just that fast we now have created the program that provides us with uh, that level of support using the workbench we will go back to our primary options we will click on compilers and we want Delphi XE so we'll fire that, compile her up, and then we'll, we'll compile and, and execute the newly generated source code that we just produced. Now we're ready to go in and compile and execute that program that we just created. We need to traverse to where we placed our source code, and we want to get the mainline project and as soon as that project loads it will open and we will take a look at the source code that was produced by that particular process now that the project is active we can see our form that was created here and we can just take a quick look at our source code and here is our source code of course with um, Java doc documentation embedded in it we didn't write any of this code it was generated all by the code generator and um, we will take a quick look at our data module again this data module was produced by the source code generator and if we take a look at uh, its form representation our data module appears just like this and uh, we are returned to our, our primary dialog here and what we want to do at this point is just go ahead and run this code without debugging and as you can see 
uh, here is our executable program again we didn't write any code we used the code generator to produce this fully functional Windows application there's also a capability at the same time to add a rave report to the same level of functionality and as you can see this was completed with just a few mouse clicks we didn't code anything at all it has been clearly demonstrated that to generate 32-bit Windows application you just simply need this cadre of tools the code generator and uh, the Delphi XE um, integrated development environment to accomplish that again my name is Arch Brooks you've been viewing a tutorial produced by Brooks Computing Systems hope you enjoyed it and please try our tools